What is a true fact so baffling it should be false? Story 1. The Life of Frank Salak, the Luckiest Unlucky Man in the World January 1962, France was riding on a train through a freezing canyon when it fell into an icy river. All 17 other passengers died while he escaped with a broken arm and hypothermia. 1963, on his first plane trip, he was sucked out of the plane's door and landed in a haystack unscathed. 19 other people were killed in the crash. 1966, he was riding in a bus when it skidded off the road into yet another icy river. Four passengers drowned while he only received some minor cuts and bruises. 1970, his car's engine burst into flames while he was driving, but he managed to escape before it exploded. 1973, in yet another driving incident, his car's engine was doused with hot oil from a broken fuel pump. This caused flames to shoot through the air vents, singeing off all of his hair. He was otherwise unharmed. 1995, he was hit by a bus but only sustained minor injuries. 1996, to escape a head-on collision with a United Nations truck on a mountain curve, he swerved into a guardrail that broke on impact. To save himself, he jumped out of the car's open door and grabbed onto a tree branch as he watched his car plummet off the cliff. Suffice to say, this guy had a complicated relationship with the Grim Reaper. Story 2. There were more planes destroyed in World War II than there are currently intact planes on Earth today. I mean, everyone was making a poop ton of planes. A poop ton of poopy planes. Commercial airliners nowadays are pretty sick, and in terms of military planes, the dominant air force in the world is taking a quality over quantity approach, despite also having quite a few, but yeah. What I meant by poopy was vastly simpler designs that were more conducive to more quantitative production because of World War II and a lot of facets was a numbers game. Like, they did the same thing with tanks. It didn't make sense to pour too much money into any given piece of hardware because it was just going to be blown up since the technology didn't exist to prevent that in any way. These days, they can do that with planes, at least because it's kind of hard to hit something that's literally going as fast as a bullet. I got a lot of responses about how World War II planes weren't actually poopy, and I agree, I was just using coarse language. Story 3. One day Mao Zedong saw a sparrow eating grain. Thinking that the sparrows were hurting China's grain supply, he and the Communist Party launched the Four Pests Campaign. The Chinese military and population killed every sparrow they could find. Embassies didn't allow the Chinese to kill sparrows on their property, so the Chinese banged pots and pans outside the embassies 24-7 until the sparrows died of exhaustion. Unfortunately for the Chinese, sparrows mainly eat insects, not grain. The locust population exploded, and 43 million people starved to death. This reminds me of that guy who killed elephants to stop the desertification of the savanna, only to have the desert spread faster. I just heard this TED talk. He didn't poach elephants, but he did convince the governments to kill them. He now advocates for herds of animals moved randomly around the grasslands to increase their biomass and in turn reverse desertification. He says that the elephant thing is his biggest regret in life, and it still haunts him to this day. Story 4. If you're launching from Earth, the most difficult place to reach in the solar system is the sun. The reason for this is that to fly directly into the sun, you need to first launch from Earth and then remove all of your orbital velocity around the sun. Anything less will just put you into a different orbit around the sun rather than directly into it. The amount of power required for that to do it directly is basically impossible currently. As an alternative, you could, for relatively little power, fly all the way out to Pluto distance, slow down much less, and then fall back into the sun. The trade-off being the travel time is now about 90 years. There are others in between paths that could get you there for different balances of energy and time, but all of them are tougher than getting basically anywhere else in the solar system with an equivalent balance. There's a mission currently traveling to study the sun, the Parker Solar Probe. It won't be flying directly in, but plans to make the closest passes than any probe ever has. It's going to make seven passes by Venus to shed speed so it can get closer and closer to the sun. The full flight time is planned as just less than seven years. As of this post, they are one week shy of a year in. Story 5. If you earned a dollar every second, it would take 2,921 years to have more money than Bill Gates. Eh, it's okay. I think I'll survive earning $3,600 an hour. Since a lot of you are mentioning taxes and leap years, here's the math for you. 
A common year would net you $31,536,000, or $31,622,400 during a leap year. With these earnings, your U.S. federal income tax bracket would be 37%, so a common year would give you $19,867,680 and a leap year $19,922,112. Taking taxes and leap years into account, we can determine that it would take you 41,739.2 years to reach Bill Gates' current 2019 net worth of $103.8 billion. A fellow internet guy kindly said that tax brackets in the U.S. don't work at a flat rate, so the math is more complicated than what I, non-American, initially thought. The difference taking into account the actual tax bracket calculations is negligible. As another person on the internet pointed out, it's approximately 1%. Yeah, 31.5 mil a year is fine. Story 6. There is no good metric for the number of languages on Earth. This is mostly because linguists cannot agree on what constitutes a new language and what constitutes a dialect of an existing language. The best current metric of how many languages exist is the number of translations of the Christian Bible. Fun little anecdote about the Bible translations into obscure languages. A missionary from our church works for a mission that translates the Bible into languages heretofore untranslated and adapts the books and chapters into an audiobook app. He was in a taxi in Kenya and asked the driver what his language was. The driver told him in English that he spoke Swahili. The missionary pressed him and asked if he spoke a local tribal language. The driver said he did and referenced an obscure language he was sure the missionary wouldn't know. The missionary pulled up the language on the app and started playing the audiobook from some passage in the Bible, whereupon the astonished driver proclaimed, That's my home tribe's language, and that's my cousin's voice. Just a funny little story that your comment reminded me of. Story 7. There are more trees on earth than stars in the Milky Way. Every time you shuffle a deck of cards, you've probably made an entirely unique order as compared to every other shuffle in history. I love cards. When I tell it to people, I usually go with, there are more unique possibilities for card order than there are atoms in the solar system. A lot more. Then when they call BS, I tell them to Google estimated atoms in the solar system, 10 to the power of 57, and compare it to 52 factorials on their calculator, 8 to the power of 67. Someone once wrote down a great visualization for how big that number is. Imagine you have a timer for 52 factorial seconds. Get to the equator every billion years. Take one step forward to the equator. Every time you get all around the equator, take one drop of water out of the Pacific Ocean. Continue this until the Pacific Ocean is empty, then put one piece of paper on the ground. Fill the Pacific Ocean back up and do the whole thing all over again. When the stack of paper reaches from the Earth to the Sun, the first three digits of the timer won't have changed yet. Story 8. If sound could travel through space, the roar of the Sun would be deafening, even though it's 93 million miles away. Because space is a vacuum, sound cannot travel through a vacuum. Obviously, lots of other things in the universe would change, and yes, presumably other stars and planets would make noise too. We'd probably all die screaming as the Earth itself imploded from the pressure of traveling so fast through a universe that wasn't a vacuum. Yep, the sun is 290 decibels. If space could carry sound, it would still be 125 decibels by the time it got to Earth. It'd be like a jackhammer everywhere all the time. Of course, if that happened, we'd probably evolve to be deaf in that audio spectrum, so we wouldn't notice. Story 9. Giraffes eat bones. Of all the possible giraffe facts to go with, you don't go with the fact that giraffe liver and bone marrow might be a hallucinogen? No, the coolest giraffe fact is that their tongue nerve goes from their brain to their chest, and then goes back up their throat to their tongue. Just like all mammals, just in a giraffe that means it's going like 20 feet and causes actual tongue lag that they can choke and die from. Cool and proof of evolution. I've been informed I've made a mistake. It's the laryngeal nerve, or voice box. Also, this adaptation can be traced all the way back well beyond just mammals, but to when we were fish, when it would have been a straight shot from brain to larynx, and hasn't gotten kicked by that pesky modern invention, the neck. Story 10. A morbidly obese person can survive with absolute starvation without any sickness or feeling ill under close control. There have been studies since the 60s. There was a patient in 1973 who went under a 382-day starvation diet for therapeutic purposes under close control with only vitamin and mineral supplements and water intake without protein, carbohydrate, or fat intake. 
no food at all, dropped from 207 kilograms to 88 kilograms, and maintained it. After a follow-up checkup five years later, the patient was 96 kilograms, stabilized. Prolonged fasting had no ill effects. If anybody is curious about the article, the PubMed ID is PMC2495396. Keep in mind for anyone tempted to imitate, multiple others attempted this after him and wound up on alive. Do not try this at home. Story 11. More people died making the V-2 rockets during World War II than were killed by them. Another fun fact about V-2 rockets, Germany was facing a large issue with rocket fuel shortages during the project because people kept drinking it. The fuel was made from 70% ethyl alcohol and 30% water, distilled from potatoes. It was the most economically viable fuel at the time, since they were already very low on other fuels. To stop workers from drinking it, they denatured the alcohol, essentially poisoning it. But people kept drinking it anyway and getting extremely ill. This simply caused people to start leaving the V2 program, suggesting that they were only in it for the free alcohol. This also means that any alcohol over 70% ABV is stronger than actual World War II rocket fuel. Story 12. There was this French guy named Terrare in the late 1700s that could eat anything in any amount. He was able to eat a quarter of a cow on one day and ate dinner for 15 for one meal when he was being tested. He was even able to swallow an entire eel with bones included, without hesitating. When he went to the military service, they used him as message transport, but after being captured, he went back and tried to find a cure. In the hospital where he was staying, he was suspected of eating a baby, so they kicked him out. He was average weight, and when he died a few years later, they could see inside his stomach just by opening his mouth. Story 13. There is an extremely rare condition called stone man syndrome. It causes any smallest damage done to tissue to regrow into a bone, speaking briefly. People affected by the sickness slowly turn into living statues as they get older. Wikipedia, surgical removal of the extra bone growths has been shown to cause the body to repair the affected area with even more bone. I'll never sleep again. Adult patients eventually have to decide on what position they wish to predominantly take for the rest of their lives. This was creepier for me. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this video and have a wonderful day. Story 14. The record for most children born to one mother is 69, to the wife of Fyodor Vasilev, 1707-1782. A peasant from Shuya, Russia, in 27 labors, she gave birth to 16 pairs of twins, 7 sets of triplets, and 4 sets of quadruplets. Wife's name is Valentina Vasilev. Not sure what's more impressive, having that many children or considering it's the 1700s living through it. Would be interested in how many of the kids survive, too. Story 15. Stalin, Hitler, and Freud all lived in Vienna at the same time. And, as others have pointed out, including a source further down, Tito and Trotsky were also there. Imagine a sitcom with them all as roommates. Dang it, Stalin, stop eating my food! It is our food, Freud. I will stop eating it when you stop banging your mother. Story 16. When a woman with breast implants is cremated, the implants will melt into goo. It drips to the bottom of the furnace and needs to be cleaned up once cooled. Kim Kardashian gonna just straight up melt into a puddle. She's had so many plastic surgeries that they're gonna have to recycle her. Her latest tattoo is a two inside a triangle. Story 17. TSA's fail rate is over 80%. I personally know someone who, in his carry-on, accidentally packed a loaded handgun, made it on the plane, and was so freaked out when he landed, he UPSed it back home and took a Greyhound bus after his trip. A total friend of mine did the same thing with a folding knife. I know a dumb guy that flew internationally with a handgun in his checked luggage, on accident, but still a dumb butthole. He left Florida heading for South Korea with a layover in Japan. The Japanese found it, and he was arrested and spent over two weeks in jail. They let him go. Story 18. Even if 99% of Earth's population thought you were unattractive, 76 million people would still find you attractive. Too bad those 76 million people never see me. So you're telling me there's a chance. Story 19. People were deliberately infected with malaria to cure their syphilis, and the man who developed this treatment, Julius Wagner Jureg, received the Nobel Prize for it. The extremely high fevers of the malaria infections Killed the syphilis bacteria, then the patients were cured of the malaria using quinine. Quinine is the reason tonic water glows under black light. Today I learned, tonic water glows under black light. 
Story 20. From 1613 and 1620, a samurai traveled to Rome by the way of Mexico. During this time, Shakespeare was still alive, Virginia had been founded for around a decade, Galileo was accused of hearsay, and Pocahontas arrived in England. He met the Pope, and he was made a Roman citizen. His name was Hasekura Tsunenaga, and was the last Japanese person to officially visit Europe until around 1860. Story 21. Oxford University predates the Aztec Empire by over 200 years. And for fun, one of my favorites, woolly mammoths were still around at the time the Great Pyramids in Giza were built. Harvard didn't teach classes in calculus when it was founded because it wasn't discovered yet. An eyewitness to Lincoln's assassination at Ford's Theater told his story on national television. Story 22. The longest time between two twins being born is 87 days. I see these threads a bunch, but this answer has me interested. Gonna look up the source on that one. Kilkenny, Ireland, gave birth to twins Amy Ann and Katie Marie, Elliot, 87 days apart, making them the twins with the longest interval between their births. The twins were born at Waterford Regional Hospital. Amy was born prematurely on the 1st of June, 2012, and Kate followed on the 27th of August. Guinness World Records. Story 23. You can fit every planet between the Earth and Moon, including all the gas giants. But if you lined up all of Jeff Bezos' money from end to end, it wouldn't fit between the Earth and the Moon. It could go to the Moon and back 34 times. Jeff Bezos has enough money to make a ladder to the Moon, and to make it out of money. In dollar bills or pennies? Dollar bills. Jeff Bezos' pennies could go to the Moon and back roughly 207 times. Story 24. If Earth was a basketball, to scale, the moon would be a tennis ball. It would orbit around 7.5 meters away, which is a lot farther than most people think. If the nucleus of a hydrogen atom was a tennis ball, to scale, the electron would orbit at about 2,500 meters away. There is no ball small enough to compare to how small electrons would still be at this scale. If the nucleus of a hydrogen atom were the size of a proton, the electron would be the size of an electron. Story 25. A 500-pound cigarette-smoking, beer-drinking brown bear named Wojciech was enlisted and served in the Polish army during World War II. Private Wojciech helped the Polish win the brutal battle of Monte Cassino and was even promoted to corporal. Following the war, he retired to Scotland. Amazing share. I will name my firstborn son Wojciech. Wojciech is a totally normal Polish name, so Polish people will just assume he's Polish. Story 26. It's pretty well known by now, but calculators today have more computing power than Apollo 11. We got to the moon with slide rulers and huge balls. If a hydrogen atom was the size of a huge ball, how large would an electron be? According to Wikipedia, Liechtenstein doesn't have a military. It has a police force that consists of 87 field officers and 38 civilian staff, totaling 125 employees. Story 27. When Mount Everest was first measured, it was exactly 29,000 feet. It was reported as 29,002 because exactly 29,000 was not believable. I'm picturing someone standing at the bottom with a tape measure and someone running all the way up to the other end. Whoever decided that was the first man to put two feet on Everest. Story 28. Sharks evolved before trees did. Trees evolved before the bugs responsible for rotting. That is, bacteria which could eat lignin and cellulose did. Thus, when they died, they just fell over in place and lay there instead of rotting. Over time, the weight of the upper layers of tree corpses compacted the lower levels, which eventually became the coal we dig up and use today. Story 29. To scale, the distance between a nucleus and orbiting electron is 16 times longer than the distance between the Sun and Pluto. There's a universe inside of us. There are many, 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 many universes inside of us. Story 30. President John Tyler, born in 1790, has two living grandsons. A similar one I like is that there is a living person who is the daughter of a U.S. Civil War veteran, at least as of 2017, and she gets to draw a Civil War veteran's pension. Story 31. Saddam Hussein was an erotic romance novelist in his spare time as the dictator of Iraq. He also had a Quran bound in human flesh, which is apparently a big no-no in Islam, and just about anywhere else. Story 32. Cheetahs can't roar, but they can meow like house cats. Oh, is this legit? Googling now. This has been the cutest part of my day. Story 33. The Planck scale is the smallest known unit of measurement. 
If you were to expand a single atom until it was the size of the observable universe, about 92 billion light years in diameter, a single Planck unit at this scale would be about the size of an average tree. Story 34. Sense of smell is molecular, meaning the molecules of what you're smelling are actually inside of your body as a result of smelling them. Think about that the next time you enter a public restroom. Ah, like farts, little bits of butt in your head. Story 35. Horses can't vomit. Rats are also unable to vomit. This, incidentally, is why rat poison works. They have no way to rid their bodies of it before enough builds up to kill them. Story 36. If every single person on the entire planet took part in a rock-paper-scissors contest where everyone paired up and played, losers were knocked out and winners stayed on, you would only have to win 33 times in total to beat all 7.53 billion people on the planet. Story 37. Nintendo was founded in 1889. Before video games, Nintendo ran uh, erotic hotels in Japan. So they went from encouraging this stuff to keeping it away. Story 38. There is no universally accepted definition of vegetable. It's a cultural and culinary term and varies from place to place. If my son hates it, it's a vegetable. Problem solved. Story 39. The Tyrannosaurus Rex lived closer in time to us than it did the Stegosaurus. Yeah, because it was afraid of those spikes. The Thagomizer. Story 40. We live many times closer to the last dinosaur than the first and last dinosaur did to each other. And Cleopatra lived closer to the first man on the moon than to the time the pyramids were built. Story 41. An eyewitness to Lincoln's assassination at Ford's Theater appeared as a contestant on a nationally televised game show with Lucille Ball. Story 42. Ireland was a net exporter of food during the Great Potato Famine. That's what caused the famine. The Brits exported all the food, and the Irish were left with only one small kind of potato for themselves, which then was afflicted with disease. Story 43. In chess, there are over 9 million variations after just three moves each, 288 billion different possible positions after four moves each. In a complete game, there are more possible positions than there are electrons in the observable universe. Story 44. You see your nose all the time, but your brain just ignores it. Well, not anymore, thanks. My nose is actually annoying me now. Story 45. The color orange is named after the fruit. Before the color orange was called red. This is why people with orange hair are called redheads. Story 46. Abraham Lincoln was born in 1809, and the first dinosaur fossil was discovered in 1819. This means that he went his early childhood without going through his dinosaur phase. Story 47. Only four people have been to the Challenger Deep, the deepest part of the ocean. One of those people, didn't he make the movie Titanic as an excuse to visit the actual wreck? Story 48. A million seconds ago was the week before last, July 24th. A billion seconds ago was 1988, 1987. Story 49. If you shrink down our sun to the size of a white blood cell, the Milky Way galaxy would be equal to the size of the continental United States. Space is huge. Story 50. You are closer to being a millionaire than Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos. Well, between Jeff Bezos and I, we have an average net worth of 60 billion. Story 52. Mike, the headless chicken, lived without a head for 18 months. Story 52. GPS satellites have to compensate for time dilation because time runs at a different rate while in orbit. Please leave your stories in the comments. I'd love to make a video of them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.